Hello members of Phaser and <clears throat> people that like to watch YouTube videos, which I'm sure if you like to watch YouTube videos, that's why you're watching this. <laughs> I don't know what I was really trying to get by that. Anyway, I'm here to talk once again about another type of non-gaming type of thing, another real life subject, and that's basically in some way, I guess you could name it destiny. Like, what is your destiny? Not as far as the sense of what you were born to do, like that one main event, you, like you were born to save the princess. Not like a destiny like that. Um, I was thinking more along the lines of what to do with uh, yourself for a, a lot of your life, a good chunk, maybe not the whole rest of your life, uh, maybe not a good 60 years, but what you want to do for maybe, say, the next 4 or 5, who knows, maybe even 10 or 20. And the reason I was thinking about this was because I, you know, I finished high school and I was in college and I, I was wanting to get into some of the more computer and technological aspects and I just, I don't know, I couldn't help but think, like, what is this going to get me? Like, how, after taking all these classes, after taking these years of college, am I going to walk away from it actually doing what I love, or what I want to do with that degree? Am I going to get right out of college and have, instantly start working on computers? And if I do, where, where's it going to be? Is it going to be at Best Buy, like some big company like that or is it gonna actually be like a big manufacturer or something honestly I'm not even completely sure uh, and I like it's hard really especially since most people say oh just do those little jobs for now and you'll figure out what you want to do and I can't even do that I live in a city where the job markets complete shit uh, unless of course you would like to cook fast food and I can tell you that, that I don't want to be making fast food for the rest of my life. That's not something I want to chart over and actually try my hand on, because trust me, I already know I would hate it. And a lot of the other jobs that I could find maybe helping uh, build something or maybe doing storage, something like that. A lot of the labor work I currently can't do because I actually broke the ACL in my left knee and I'm going to be getting surgery on it pretty soon which is then a months of recovery and physical therapy. But with all this in mind I just can't, can't help but sit at home every day and just think about what I'm going to be doing. I plan to go to California and be with my friends and start my life there and I mean I've got that little bit you know figured out I've got after maybe these next six months figured out and it's just what do I do when I get there I mean am I gonna continue my college classes uh, am, am I going to well where am I gonna go find a job at there am I gonna find a great one am I gonna find something I'm interested in Maybe I'll find one that makes me think I can do this for the rest of my life. Or then again, I may find one that says, this makes me want to kill myself, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And it's just, it's really got me thinking, what, why are we here? Like, I honestly sometimes wish I could just go 10 years in the future and be like, yo, future self what are you doing and he could be like well Trevor sit down along the fireside and I'll tell you the last 10 years of my and yours life story and he could then be like oh I chose this awesome job so it shows up maybe you should get it or oh I fucked up big time I, you should not be taking this job because I hate my life or you know don't date that one girl she'll ruin your heart she'll ruin your precious heart and I don't know, it's just something I've always fantasized about. Sometimes I really wish that it could in some way be written for me about what I'm going to do because although I love the ability to choose what I want to do and I want some of that, it's also completely terrifying to have that decision in front of you. It's, I mean, if you f screw up, it's your fault completely, you know? So what 
so what is it? What are you going to be doing? What is your choice? And when people say, hey, what do you want to do? I just sit there and with a blank face and just, D I don't know. I want to go to California. Okay, cool. After that six months, what then? Uh, be with my best friend. And that's a really good one. I like that one because being with your best friend, I know that with that, we could get through so much together. And that's one of my biggest fears was always being alone after high school. Not in the sense like, oh, I need a girlfriend or someone there who loves and cares about me. But someone who will understand me. More of like a best friend type of thing. Someone where if he falls down, you're there to pick him back up and vice versa. If I mess up, he can be there to help me. And I think that's so critical in the beginning of your life because when you make those mistakes, you have no life experience towards them. You really need that sense of help that you get when you first start out. Yeah. So this just basically brings me back. With that, with my friend being able to lean on him, where am I going to go from with that? Uh, I definitely plan on staying up with YouTube, maybe hopefully in the future getting a little bit bigger if possible. Because uh, I know that's my best friend's dream, is to get really big on YouTube. That's just great. And I just think it's nice to sometimes just sit down, and even though it's completely uncharted territory, just think, what would you like to do? What is your decision? What is your destiny? Because you may just figure it out sitting there.